What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World, and today we are officially taking Cal Pitts as our free rookie premier in Madden 22 Ultimate Team. Now, before you guys start raging and asking, yo, G Miles, what are you doing, Jamar Chase, all this other stuff, I'm gonna explain to you guys why. You gotta understand with this new whole thing with the strategy cards, it's actually very, very hard to get the speed cards for the tight end, and then sometimes it doesn't correspond with the wide receivers. I do know for a fact that the cards add speed. The rare ones that are more often used add speed to the wide receivers and the running backs. As far as everything else, it becomes relatively difficult. So I'm gonna briefly go through everything so everybody understands. If this is your first time watching this channel, you're gonna wanna go ahead and like it, and then you're gonna go, you know, pretty much go ahead and subscribe, because I'm gonna walk you through everything that goes on within the game. So we finally got to level 10. You know what I'm saying? With, with decent grinding, I haven't really had the time to grind mad in the way I would like to. So I've been away from the game because I got a lot of stuff going on, school start and all that good stuff going on. So I just got to level 10. I've been telling you guys about this for a while though. About a month ago when uh, Agent K on the Good Morning Madden told us about what was going to be happening, I predicted that Kyle Pitts would be the most lethal thing at the launch. I still believe he will be. But some of you guys like Trevor Lawrence. Let me tell you some of the good things about Trevor Lawrence. I'm going to give you some brief insight into all the cards. Set feet lead and he gets inside dead eye. So that's huge. Najee Harris, I would probably, you know, it's a running back. So I don't really go crazy about it like that. Like I wouldn't use him. If you're a Steeler fan and you're like, you know what, I'm going theme team all that. Maybe I can understand that a little bit, but it's a running back, dude. Like you can get cheap running backs as they come out. You got the superstars dropping with Saquon Barkley. Like I gotta get that. That car is gonna be unbelievable. Let me know what you think about that Saquon card. It's gonna be absolutely unbelievable. So there are other options. I would not go with Najee Harris, but it's up to you if you want that running back feel and um, you know you got the theme team going, you're gonna boost the speed, all that good stuff. Um, a lot of what goes on with it, and also when you try to compare stuff and look at different things, sometimes the game will glitch out. So I don't recommend always doing it, but right now it worked. Like it's a lot of glitches within the game, but I just wanted to do that and try it with Jamar Chase because he is one of the faster cards. And he is somebody that will get open just because of his speed. Um, he is six foot, that's decent. Uh, but again, for me, right? There are so many other wide receivers available right now. Devonta Smith, you got, uh, you know, the team captain, Allworth. It's, dude, it, it's Randy Moss that comes with the, um, if you got the Dynasty Edition. There's a lot of wide receivers that are really, really good that have speed. Tyreek Hill, these guys. But remember, at the time that I made this video, the auction house was currently locked because of a bug that was going on. So that's something that you should keep in mind. Kyle Pitts at tight end with 88 speed is outrageous. You know what's even more outrageous? If he does well, which I think he will do in the National Football League, he's gonna have to get a card by September. Just keep this in mind. If he has two good weeks, EA Sports always goes over the top when it comes to rookies, he's gonna get another card. So he's gonna probably be at 92, 93 speed before we even get into October, bro. So I don't know how they're gonna work it because obviously he does not have a power up right now. But I do believe that he's going to be one of the most lethal cards throughout the entire year. And then, if they end up doing golden tickets, it's Goodnight Marine or whoever it is. Whatever name you want to look, it's Goodnight to whoever. Put, put whatever name you want to put there. But it's going to be over because he's going to be an absolute monster. Also, he gets a lot of abilities uh, at the launch, which I'll show you in a second. Um, when you look at the left guard, these guards, he obviously gets post up. Uh, post up is rather lethal guys that Richie Incognito uh, Superstar if you play the challenges you're gonna be like yo, what is going on? Why is everybody getting pummeled post up is OP? Like straight up OP, but I can't justify taking alignment I would rather buy alignment and get something that's gonna be you know more exclusive from in my opinion Remember you can also buy these cards separately when the auction house opens back up a D tackle do I, dude, I, I can't justify it. Because even with my D tackles now, I don't know what they're doing. I don't, dude, I can't justify what EA Sports is doing and it's too early to tell and they still have not dropped the day one patch yet. They've given us little patches to fix certain things and you know make the mutt level box big so you can see the 10. They haven't done a lot yet. So we have to wait for that, guys. It's still not here yet. Now, speed rusher at left outside linebacker, I don't want speed rushers. I prefer a power rusher. 
If you guys like speed rushers, go with it. But the power rusher guys are the real deal. Micah Parsons, the middle linebacker position is very, very important in certain aspects when you run 3-4 if you're sending everybody. I'm not sure though, because of the fact that he's not going to be able to animate, that you should go after a middle linebacker with your coins. Well, not your coins, but your free pack right here. It's pretty much a waste of coins because you're just like, you're just throwing it in the wind. Whatever you take right here for free, you got to be able to justify that going forward. J.C. Horn, again, corners don't play defense in Madden 22 right now. Will that change? Maybe. Can't justify the cornerback. This guy is insane, though. Everyone that I've spoken to, I just don't like that he's a hybrid because he doesn't really get anything, you know, you know, good one-sided or whatever. But the abilities on him might be a little bit crazy. But if you look at his numbers, he's absolutely insane. 90 speed, 6-1 with a 90 except like this guy, dude, it's outrageous. 86 hit power, not bad. So he was like a close, like, oh, for big nickel, he might go crazy. But then I said to myself, I got to take Kyle Pitts. So I'll work on the other stuff. But because I'm more concerned with scoring that one play touchdown, I have to go with Kyle Pitts. So that's an assessment of all of them that's available for you at Mutt Level 10. Obviously, if you guys were grinding and you already went through Mutt Level 10, it doesn't really matter. You've already picked whatever. But for those of you guys that are grinding with me, I appreciate it. And for those of you guys that are getting the game later, this will help you as you get through it. And I'm going to try to get it out as soon as possible. The official launch of the game was August 20th. You should have gotten this video around that time, you know, close within a couple days. Uh, so I'm doing the best that I can to get the content out to you. Obviously, when I'm live streaming, if you guys check me out on YouTube or on Twitch, you will hear, I'll talk about certain things to give you guys a heads up, but I just want the video there so you can always go back to it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select Kyle Dig Out Your Girl's Pits. All right, now once we get them, we have to go to the other screen, probably in our item binder to go check out what's going on. Also, the Veterans Loyalty Pack, some of you guys were asking me, you know, g what are you taking out of it? What does it really matter? Well, let me just show you what's happening, right? I just want to briefly go over this. These cards right here, um, because Richie Incognito has a superstar, you could probably power him up. Um, Zadarius Smith right now, uh, you know, I don't know. As far as Zeke Elliott, we already have Zeke. AJ Brown is a no-go, but I like the Richie Incognito because of the power aspect. The one thing that kind of makes me stay away from it, though, is the fact that the superstars, once you obviously put them in the power-up, they lose the free abilities and the X factor that comes with the card. So that's something you got to watch. But for whatever, it doesn't matter. We get three of them and they're Nats. So it doesn't matter. Plus, I think I can sell the other Zeke Elliott that I have. So we'll take that other Zeke that's there. So that, that way you guys see what's in the, um, you know, what I took out of the pack. That way it kind of helps you to understand uh, what's going on and what I'm doing. It just makes it a lot easier for me to know that it was in a, in a video that I can actually show you guys like, yo, go back. It's right here. This is what I got. And you got this for playing 19, 20, and 21 consecutively um as far as somebody else that i would take it would probably have to be um i guess the darius because i don't want two richie incognitos i guess he would probably because he's a power rusher you know while my team is garbage i can just have him out there just in case depending on what's going on because he's a bull he's a bull dude so it just works out i just wanted to go ahead and get rid of that so that way you guys can see what's going on as far as today uh, on today it's like the legend day so i'm just going to open up these other packs and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the abilities for um, for Kyle Dig Out Your Girl's Pits. So even though it's a legend day, we're still not having any luck with that. We'll get the Pro Fantasy Pack real quick, see what's going on with this, and then we'll pretty much be done um, with the way that this is, because I don't expect to get anything. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and just grab whatever. I, dude, I don't even care. Just give me my silvers and let me go on my day. See, it's, it's all garbage. It's pretty much all garbage. And these were free packs that EA gives you. So you should probably go ahead and take advantage of it, but at the end of the day, it's silvers and a gold. Like, that's what it is. And in the gold team fantasy pack, you might be better off, like, I don't know if you want to wait or if you just want to go crazy, but if you go to one of the um, the teams that released um, the Legends today and you go based on the team that's on the actual card, you know they play for multiple teams, you might get lucky and pull something out of one of these gold packs. I don't know, but I just wanted to you know let you guys see that. Now, finally, we get over here. Let's go take a look at the binder. And obviously, OJ Howard, he might get raid sold. Or he might be a backup. Because, you know, these guys get tired. Fatigue is a major issue in this game. So that may, that may be something you have to watch. All right? So, as far as his upgrades, we're going to go ahead. Obviously, we're going to have to give this guy abilities. 
All right? And then I just want you guys to see, he does get deep out, deep in uh, for one. He also gets mid out and mid in. I can't put him on a crosser yet because he doesn't get, um, he doesn't get tied in apprentice. So he has to achieve a 96 overall for that. So I can't do nothing with him. It, it just, it's just not gonna work out right now, but we can go crazy and make him stop mossing dudes with deep out and deep in. Just to kind of give you guys some insight into that, but it is a lot of training for it. 1250 obviously is a lot, but it's gonna be worth it for you in the long run when you moss him a dude into oblivion. So more than likely, I guess for now, we can give him deep in. So we'll buy that now, we'll craft it and we'll put it on him. Um, we'll equip that. Um, as far as anything else, I get, see he's a 500, like they're gonna break the bank with this right now. I'm not gonna give him a superstar X Factor, but he'll get that. And then I think we should keep OJ Howard in there because when this guy gets tired, you don't wanna use like your third string guy because that dude sucks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially on my team. Um, who do we got there? Jordan Atkins, that dude is garbage. And then Jimmy Graham is absolutely trash. So we'll go ahead and throw Kyle Pitts in right now. We'll, we'll, we're gonna keep OJ Howard just in case because he actually, he's not bad. He's not bad and he works out for us right now. So we'll leave that. We'll go ahead and we'll activate, um, you know, the deep in the lead on him. So that way we know that he's active and then we'll try it out. I'll let you guys know how it's working out. And that's pretty much it for me right now. So that's a whole assessment of all the rookie premieres and why I chose Kyle Pitts. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, uh, share and do all that other good stuff. And please subscribe if you would like. No, no pressure. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.